The Avon River is muddy and brown, but full of life. And so if we look down, there's a whole world under there of eels, and you get like different varieties of fish and different species. Otters, rainbow trout, eels, lampreys. I never knew that the lamprey had so much teeth. Oh yeah. Lampreys have giant mouths to suck crocs. They can accidentally swallow a rock if it's small. They go, <gasps> then they die. Maybe, but I've never heard on the news that a lamprey has ever eaten a rock. Eels live for 8,000 years. Oh, really? That old? 120. Oh, 120 years. I think they look like snakes that go underwater. The slimy stuff on the outside protects it from bugs and diseases and it protects its skin. Eels travel far because they start through the Sargasso Sea. The, the Sargasso Sea. Sea is east of um, Cuba and the Bahamas. I think they're born in the Sargasso Sea. And they travel all the way into England, I think. They're carried by the Gulf Stream to um, places like the Avon and Bristol. And it is a really long journey, I think about 20 hours. It takes three years to go to Sargasso Sea. To the Avon River. Eels travel 4,000 miles. They, they, they go in groups. There are probably about 1 million 10 hundred in a group. The little ones head to the fresh water and the old eels don't stay in the rivers forever because they need to go back to the Sargasso Sea to have their babies. Hello. Hello, have a nice journey. I really like swimming because it's really fun to get yourself wet and just swim. I think they slither through the ocean and sometimes surf. Have they got like magnets inside them? They're basically getting pushed by the current and they'll be just dragged across the ocean. I know mostly every sea animal. Eels grow as they travel. The baby is a glass eel and they're transparent. The glass eels turn into elves and the elves swim up the river Avon and then they become full freshwater eels. Eels turn darker in darker water to camouflage so the predators can't eat them. I think herons eat eels because they think they're like long sausages. Fishermen eat the eels. Different birds like seagulls and kingfishers. <laughs> Otters might try to eat eels. The first time I saw an eel, I thought it was going to be electrocuted. <laughs> I ate it, I felt really sick after an hour, and then I just went normal. Eels do not like getting eaten. Eels find it hard to get through dams. There's been technology stuff made by the dams. Eels go up these ladders which have bristles, like toothbrush bristles, so they sliver through all the gaps and then they get over the dam to be safe and have a rest. The river has rubbish in it and animals might get trapped. Say somebody has rubbish and they may not have a bin or something. It might blow into the river maybe or if they didn't want a bike or something they might put it in the river and it pollutes the river. Like plastic bags. And the stuff out of cans, they might go on turtles and then the front and the back was turtle but the middle bit was squeezed. It's just really, really sad because there's loads of rubbish lying all over the place. It's like affected lots of the nature and also it's making the rivers like not a nice place to be. You need to take litter out of rivers and seas to help the animals. It's not like for people to chuck things in. It's a river for anim animals to live in. Yeah, they're really important. And if we don't look after them, there won't be many left in the world. Protect the eels! Yeah! What you gonna do with the big fat eel? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Just a noodle wiggle. <laughs>